but uh, with the rain, I can't get my camera up under. I have cover over top of me, but I can't get my camera in under cover uh, and get the shots that I need. It's too close to focal length of the camera. doesn't work for that. Uh, so I had to take my camera gear back in. But I continued, since I was undercover, to work on this handle. And I'm not looking for perfection. I just want it to work well. And you see I, I rounded and smoothed all of that over so that it feels good in my hand. I kind of deepened these a bit so that it fits my hand. Before, they were kind of clamping onto the sides of my hand. Um, and I just took an... Uh, took low grit sandpaper and softened all the edges on the handle and I've got a couple of really really thin coats of wipe on polyurethane it's a gloss polyurethane you see there's no gloss on this at all hardly um, I just wanted a little bit in the wood uh, and now what I'm going to do it's almost time to assemble the saw so what I'm going to do I'm going to put some paste wax on this to kind of make it feel better. I also want to put some on the blade before assembly. This is just uh, min wax, paste finishing wax is all this is. And this works really well just as a finish all by itself, in my opinion. Uh, I just want that little bit of extra protection that the pot, the, that, that light couple of coats of poly gives it. I'm not sparing this. I'm putting it on pretty blooming heavy. Because I do want it to protect the wood. Particularly here where my hand will grab it. I'm hoping that you're in the camera. So we're going to set that off and let it dry, then we're going to get this plate. This is good for helping it to uh, move along in the wood, but I also believe it helps to prevent corrosion as well. So that's why I'm, I've got the handle off of the tool so I can get up under where the handle normally goes. We're going to set those two off to the side. Come on big boy. My hands don't like hitting that slot because, because my hands don't like me, pretty much. And these are the medallions that came with it. They are aluminum. That's one of the one of the uh, signs of it being a, a 50s era saw is that is a, a really basically a very poorly done, actually, uh, medallion.
And that's the wrong size screwdriver. That's better. And that likes to turn in the slot. Is it? More than likely this saw will need a bit of set to the teeth and a bit of tuning. But let's just see. Actually, that's pretty darn good. It's turning off to the saw's left. Actually, that's not bad. At all. Got to guide it just a little bit. But. That's a nice cuff. This is a 1000 grit diamond plate. And when we look at this saw, we'll, we see when we look at these cuts that the saw is veering off to this side. It's turning like that. So what we're going to do is lay this down. We're going to take this and I'm going to, that's called stoning the edge. I'm going to try that. Let's see what difference that might make. What I'm looking for, not quite, what I'm looking for is a saw that will track straight. Without me even thinking about it. That's pretty good. Give it a couple more wax with that. With the thousand grit side of this stone. Beautiful. All right. And I'm not guiding the saw at all. All I'm doing is sawing. And you see, the 
now it's running straight up and down the wood. I'm going to whack it one more time and I think that that'll be good. Let's try this side. Lovely. It starts really well. It's got a very fine set. what it does cross cutting lovely not bad it, it, it turns out in the back that's a pretty clean cut and I am not this isn't the dovetail saw although I could do dovetails with it let's do a quick and dirty one okay so Actually, let's do a quick and dirty dovetail. Middle. Yeah, that saw would do dovetails really well. Nice and fine lines, lovely. As compared to the saw that I use for dovetails, let's do that comparison. This will be modified with a shorter plate to. Uh, he used his dovetail saw. <laughs> See, it cuts a bit cleaner in the back, but that is, this is a thicker plate. That's a 23 thousandths plate. This is more on the order of 32 or 36. So that's why you see. But where is that? Oh, if you look at this line, I don't know if you can see it or not. And this line, they cut a similar line. So I could use that. For dovetails if I needed to but I'm really happy with that saw I thought that I would I had sharpened it off camera yesterday when it started raining after I did the work on the handle and stuff like that um, but I thought that I would have to set it but the set I think is just about perfect on this saw so yeah Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later.